The death toll from earthquakes in Turkey and Syria has exceeded 38,000. About 8,500 people have died in Syria because of the earthquake, and those numbers will continue to rise, who Regional Director for Emergencies Richard Brennan said at a briefing. It's hard to say the exact numbers, they are rising every day. But from what we know today, about 4,000 people were killed and 2,500 injured in territories controlled by the Syrian government, and about 4,500 killed and 7,500 injured in northwestern Syria, he said. The death toll from earthquakes in southeastern Turkey rose to 29,605, the disaster management office said. Four people died in Mozambique's capital due to the effects of heavy rains. Mozambique's National Office of Risk and Disaster Management said four people died in Maputo and surrounding areas due to flooding caused by torrential rains. In the capital province of Maputo, 30,000 people were affected by the flooding. Almost 4,300 homes in and around the capital were flooded, with 13 schools affected. Authorities have opened two centers to accommodate evacuees and are preparing to open three more. Southeast Africa has already seen three days of heavy rains, causing floods and landslides. The heaviest downpours have hit Maputo and areas of South Africa adjacent to the Mozambican border. Chile's capital is sweltering with heat and suffocating with fires. Residents of Chile's capital are suffering from the heat. In addition, Santiago has been engulfed in a cloud of smoke from fires that rage in south, central Chile. Meteorologists warn the thermometers will rise to 37. Forest fires in the south, central part of the country have already killed 24 people. More than 300,000 hectares have been affected by fire. Australia recorded more than 4.2 million lightning strikes during the storms. Australia experienced severe storms over the weekend, with more than 4.2 million lightning strikes recorded across the country. The strongest storms hit Adelaide on Saturday afternoon as a devastating squall line and then tracked through South Australia and New South Wales before reaching Sydney late Sunday morning. The storms caused significant damage to South Australia and caused the largest power outages in the state since 2016. The Weathertone Total Lightning Network recorded just over 4,213,700 lightning strikes over Australia last weekend. Unique rainbow clouds were observed in the skies over China. Residents of Hiker, a city of 2 million people in southern China, observed an iridescent scarf cloud. Such clouds are also called Pilus, Pilus. They are so named because of their resemblance to an ancient Roman hat. Sometimes one even observes several clouds strung one on top of the other. Pilus, sometimes called hat clouds or scarf clouds, are smooth clouds that form on top of a growing cumulonimbus or cumulonimbus cloud. The breathtaking rainbow hue that colored the pilus is a miracle over hiker that amazed everyone. Rainbow clouds are not unusual. They are formed by the refraction of sunlight in water droplets or ice crystals in clouds, scattering light. A burning meteor swept over the capital of New Zealand. A burning meteor flew over the New Zealand capital Wellington in the sky on Thursday, July the 7th. Dozens of eyewitnesses said they saw a bright light and heard a rumble as the fireball flew by. A Met Service forecaster said on Twitter that his radar picked up a possible smoke trail from the meteor. Geonet said the seismometer picked up its sound waves at about 1.50 pm. An eyewitness in the Wellington area said his room lit up with a bluish, orange hue. According to Alan Gilmore, an astronomer with the Mount John Observatory at the University of Canterbury, the bright meteor, moving very quickly through the atmosphere, was a rare occurrence over the urban area. He noted that the rumble that people heard showed that the meteor flew 60 kilometers from the ground. New Zealand recorded more than 20,000 lightning strikes in 24 hours. 
About 20,000 lightning strikes were recorded in New Zealand during the 24-hour period until Friday morning. As a result of inclement weather left about 10,000 residents on the west coast without electricity. Met Service predicts that severe thunderstorms will also cover regions in Waikato, Waitemo and Tormaranue on the North Island. The Meteorological Service warned that thunderstorms will move over the North Island on Friday, bringing heavy rain, hail and strong wind gusts, as well as the possibility of several small tornadoes. Wind gusts could reach more than 110 km per hour and damage structures, fall trees and sever power lines. Because of the threat of fires, firefighters in Spain are on alert. To prevent repeated major fires in eastern Spain, emergency planes dropped water on areas affected by a large forest fire, during which burned about 30,000 hectares of land. According to the Ministry of Environment, the fire, which resolved last week during a heat wave, will be the largest in terms of area of damage in the past two decades. As the service noted, although there are no more fires, work continues. Temperatures reached the 40-degree mark in many parts of Spain last week, the highest early in the year since 1981. Temperatures in the country were slightly lower on Monday.